Okay, here we are, the ultimate day of crosswinds. We've done our, put in three full days of work, maybe four. See, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, and Friday. Yeah, four hard days of work. Did some clearing down through here. Got to do a little bit more to get a view of the mountains. We have basically got our site to where we can come up this side, come around the front here, and then go out the back side so hopefully Leonard can bring us some materials up top to next year. This is our start of our sleeping cabin that we've got going. As you can see it doesn't have a roof. We we'll work on that second floor and roof next year. So all the supplies we got left. I've got 30 sheets or 60 running feet of 10 foot metal. I've got 30 sheets of half inch, about 38 foot sticks of 2x2, two two, and no T111. We used every single bit. There's our outhouse right there. It's about 50 feet away. Nice little 4x6. We cut the door to be 28 inches wide, so I need to get a 28 inch wide door for that. Of course, this is the house that we built last year. And this is our deck. We've got all the little trim pieces finished. Built some furniture for the deck. And we've got a little catwalk going down here to our shed. In the shed I've got the 15. We've got some more rod holders. Got lots of uh, got plenty of nails. Plenty of screws, plenty of air hose, about a hundred foot air hose, lots of two cycle oil, plenty of water jugs. We still got the air compressor out here. We're leaving one can of gas, it's about half full. Got some copper pipe. Um, I think we're pretty well set on nails. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten of of uh, liquid nails. Don't know if that'll be any good off the freeze next year. And we've got about five. Uh, things of of uh, latex. We'll see if that free how that is after the freeze. Um, got part, all our tools. We've got about a hundred hangers left. No, I'm sorry, not hundred. Fifty hangers left. So that should be plenty for our deck. We've got a battery charger. Plenty of drills and and uh, measuring tapes. We got measuring tapes out the wazoo now. And a couple of bags. Got our sawzall. Got about four or five bags of foam. Got a couple of several tarps. We'll be covering up using one of the tarps for the four-wheeler. Got a two, five, three five-gallon things of propane. We got one that's full. That other one's about half full and then the one we've been using is probably a third full. Yeah, it was Johnny. <laughs> Say hi, Johnny. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> okay, John and Paul have started their little test for the water pool down here. We put an old tarp down here to see if it collect. The problem with using an old tarp is the old tarp may have holes in it. So um, we'll see when we get back next spring how much water this has in it. We created a little pond there, and it's got a little bit of water in it, but. It's been flowing constant all day, and that's the most I've seen it, so that's not good news. Probably tells me we've got a holy tarp. So I have to bring back uh, some 8 mil or real thick plastic for that next year. You can see the outhouse there from a distance. The boys dug a good hole and lined it with logs. That was pretty cool. We've got two tanks in here for our motors. This one's empty, but the 30 is full. I'll put some stabilize in it. Hopefully that will uh, keep it good for next year. Walking up behind the house. Here's our outhouse. We'll do a, a catwalk or a boardwalk all the way down this building up here couple of stairs in it and have it come right in here to the outhouse. We don't cut our hole yet or put our throne in. That's at Jane and Steve's. 
So I still got to get that. It's the back of the sleeping cabin. Got our end pieces on. I need to make shutters for the windows. We're going to have to figure that out though because the windows have a little gap to them. So we'll have to figure out how do we make our shutters work with that gap. Walking on around the building, see that other side of the trail that we made for this back side. So hopefully Leonard can make that circle and just go out that way and it hooks back in there with our trail below. There's our deck. Guess they're stealing our benches for inside for dinner. We need to bring some tables and chairs out here, some fold-up chairs, and some ta and a table. Just walk down here and see how much clearing we did. And we pushed it out about another 50, 60 foot or so beyond what we had cleared. Trying to get down to that next aspen grove down there. We got to get some of this thick stuff out in there and some of this thick stuff out in here to be able to see the mountains. The first couple days we were here were real nice and clear. And you could see the mountains over there on the other side very well. They were very clear. You see kind of the cloud cover tops of them today. But we definitely want to make that the focal point of our view. We've got a little bit of fires going now. To go work those tonight. Those are our chairs. <laughs> Boys made them a little tall, but we didn't want to cut the posts, so. Say hi, Jeff. Hi, Linda. <laughs> and that's it for this trip. Hopefully next trip we'll get our second floor on with the deck and our roof, get the sleeping cabin, get our in cabin inside all set up for sleeping and um, then we'll start doing some fishing although we did some fishing this trip probably trolled about six hours didn't catch nothing it's pretty lousy now in here see our table Paul and John getting ready to eat <laughs> this is our kitchen there's pot holders we're having Frito pies tonight. It's like Fernando's mixing up something special. This is all our sleeping back here. He's kind of a big deal. Yeah. People know me. It's kind of a big deal around here. <laughs> Actually, they're better with an armrest right here. Okay. Yeah. Better with right we'll have four cots out here. We've got uh, one, two, three air matches that are good, and maybe a fourth over here. We burned two because they had holes in them. That's for me, the nice coat rack up here with the hat rack on top. Mm -hmm. 